Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is actually almost morning instead of my typical saying that at, you know, 11 p.m. at night, which is maybe a morning for New York or, you know, anyway. So, yeah. Um, today we're going to be covering the Royal R's. And, um, yeah, here's my quick tutorial on that. Don't play it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so... <clears throat> Let's see here, where to start? Now, I think the first thing you need to do is you need to buff up. And I don't know all of the buffs, if they're applying or not, because um, when I hit something earlier, the castle that I hit, those stats, were not the actual stats that were reflected in, <clears throat> in here. So you're just gonna have to kind of forgive me that I don't know if everything applies. For example, city buffs, not sure. Um, Tempting Rary Relics? Again, not sure. Um, you know, equipment should obviously, you know, gems should obviously. Um, you know, so this, okay. The King Assigns Talents, I guess, has some impact. So all of that's good. However, I don't know if uh, the Dragon Spirit stuff applies. I simply don't know. Um, and I, and I actually, I don't know if a city buff applies. I don't know. So I know that the, the troop march stuff that you do from city buff doesn't work. So don't bother with that. And the, uh, the temporary, um, relic for, um, increasing your march size again, doesn't work. So I suspect that maybe the dragon blade isn't actually impacting things. Mm, I'm just kind of, um, at a loss in terms of, of what it is because it was about 50, 50 points lower in certain places than I would expect. So, I mean, I just, you know, I did a test attack. I saw the numbers, it looked good. I go in there, I set it, I save it, and those numbers are not being used. Now, having said this, when you want those numbers to be used, you know, your current setup, you click on Royal R's, you set your March configuration, and then you click Save. And at that point, your stats should be locked in for defense. Um, if you go and you loot, I'm not sure if those stats are still locked in or not. I think they are. So I think that they're locked in until you do something, like if you save it again, if you overwrite it. So I think that's how that works. Um, yeah, so this is my current status. You guys can kind of see I'm gold too. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm, I'm hopeful that eventually um, no, we don't want to look at that. Well, maybe we do. You can see who's killing me. So I'm hopeful that, um, yeah, I'll be able to go higher than gold too. Um, yeah, so this is, this is basically one of the, the biggest question marks that I think a lot of people have is, you know, making sure that your stats for defending and attacking are correct. Um, in terms of March configurations and stuff like that, uh, we have another uh, we have another event that, you know, it comes down to tricky marches is basically what it is. I'm not going to really go into this, um, you know, because there is no perfect march here. Some some opponents are going to need more infantry. Other opponents are going to need less infantry. Um, you know, so I mean, there's 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 no perfect amount. The general guideline is. Um, I'll say it like this. Have enough, just enough in infantry so that they don't run out, but don't have too much infantry past that because anything past that isn't going to be doing kills. So you want to have, you know, more of other troops um, doing the kills. So if you see that pretty regularly only 60,000 infantry um, are dying, but you put 120,000, well, you might want to reduce that because if the common amount is only 60, 60k or dying, well, then you probably only need 60, 65, 70k of infantry. Anything more of that just isn't really effective. So you need enough of that to um, to really get the job done, but not too much. Um, the other thing is, and I was really surprised about this, is power does actually influence your march size. Um, I haven't faced 242. I don't know how much of a ridiculous advantage that gives him. Um, 
I wish this would be capped, you know, like let's let's say a reasonable amount of power. This is a you know a feature suggestion for King of Scamalon. Um, you know, like just cap it at a billion power. I think it's pretty reasonable. I mean, even if you capped it at five hundred million power, I, I wouldn't complain. Um, you know, I mean, there there should be some sort of you know like low end and high end cap, because if two four two has this like you know, wacko advantage that he's never going to lose as a result of this just ridiculous or stupid amount of power that he's built, then, you know, I mean, obviously it's it's kind of skewed just a little bit. And, um, yeah, anyway, so there we go. That's what we have. Um, I could give other tips. I know you guys are going to want more tips. I'm not going to do it right now. I'd like to see how the season plays out a little bit more before going into any specific strategy tips. I'm just going to kind of leave you on your own for this point. And I uh, wish you good luck. And um, yeah, so that's the Royal Ars, the latest event from uh, King of Scamelon. So, okay, love you guys, and uh, bye-bye for now.